Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another day in Vera. And today we have a pretty exciting showcase for you. I know it's one that many of you have been waiting for for quite a while. But before we begin, I do want to provide you with a little bit of our normal reminder that this is still a work in progress. And there are a lot of visual bugs, obviously, <clears throat> uh, work in progress, UI and art uh, that you're going to see here, which will continue to improve. But with that being said, and performance as well, with that being said, <clears throat> we're going to take a look today at some PVP. And we're going to talk about PVP specifically in the context of caravans. Um, and I am joined by some of our glorious developers, all of whom you have heard from in the past. Um, we have one of our glorious senior designers, Mr. Chris. Chris, how you doing, buddy? Oh, I'm just wonderful. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Happy to have you, buddy. I know you've been putting a lot of work into this, um, and it's great to see it kind of come together here. Um, and I think we're also joined by two other glorious designers on the combat side. Uh, Bucky, Trat, how you guys doing? Doing good. Yep, good to be back. And for uh, Oh, I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> many, many times. Um, <clears throat> so, we also have a number of different testers who are going to be joining us uh, who are assisting in um, getting ready for Alpha 2. Obviously, Alpha 2, as we announced, is going to be starting in the third quarter of this year. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done, and, and part of that work is finding all the bugs and all the crashes and, and hardening the systems uh, as we prepare for Alpha 2. But today, like I said, we're going to be talking about a really fun system as it relates to caravans, and one of the most important aspects of caravans is that there is no reward without significant risk in Ashes of Creation. And the caravan system is of particular risk because it is how materials and commodities are transited within the world of Vera. And it's difficult to navigate the world of Vera. It's a, it's a large world, and the train is not always kind, especially to large vehicles like a caravan. And today we're going to talk about, as you transit this world, if the node structures are not advancing with you and the world state isn't changing and you're not seeing different um, bridges being constructed, sometimes you might have to ford rivers. And rivers can be quite the obstruction uh, for you and present some danger. Wow, look at these, look at this, look at this crew. You'll, know, you'll notice that this crew, they all have swords above their head and they're blue to me, but that's because we've discovered that a caravan is taking the perilous journey nearby and trying to reach a location where they'll be rewarded for all their hard work. But little do they know, we are here waiting for them. And the bandits are going to attempt to, to take this caravan. Chris, talk to me a little bit about the risk of caravan travel and what people are about to see here yeah i mean well you risk everything you're traveling with when you run a caravan right um it's definitely way more efficient than running a bunch of goods in your inventory to and from nodes but it's uh definitely a lot more dangerous absolutely rangers if you guys want to come over here with me i've just gotten word that there might be a caravan down here approaching but they appear to have some defenders. I can see them. I think they might even see us here in the distance. What do you guys say we engage them? Do we want to just kind of ambush them here? I don't think they can see us. We fight. You guys should be stealth, stealthy about it. Okay, I got a tar. I got a target, McStackerson. <clears throat> Rangers, we should open up on them right when they kind of ar arrive here. <clears throat> let them let them come up a little bit closer and prepare your uh, your snipe. I have no idea. Actually, let's switch targets over to Nis Nistharis. Let's open in three, two, one. Oh no, <laughs> okay, engage them. Go, go, go. Oh my God. Oh, 
Oh, it's, it's bloodshed. This is our loot. Don't let them get away. I think we may only if there's a few left. I see Chibi Chibi Bree focusing the caravan. All right, <clears throat> take down the caravan. Time for that delicious loot. Wait, oh. oh my god. Okay, nobody nobody grab the loot. Nobody grab the loot. What just happened here, Chris Bucky? Talk to me a little about a little bit about what we just saw. Obviously this caravan is now destructed. What does that mean? Yep. Yeah, yep. so this this caravan was loaded with a combination of it looks like uh, commodity crates and material crates. Okay, alright. So these crates have different contents in them. Yeah, so, um, like the last Caravan livestream, uh, we transited a bunch of commodities, those special goods you bought with Glint. Um, well, obviously, we can steal them now that we've killed their caravans. If you want to open up one of these guys with a green, uh, little symbol on it. Okay, I'm up there. Where you at? Oh, I'm right here, I'm right here, right next to you. One of these guys. Got it. Okay, I can interact with it. I see that there's stolen commodities. Yeah, so you can go ahead and loot those. Um, now, you don't actually get the commodity that it was. You get these special certificates that um, we will offload at uh, the node we're going to head to after this uh, for some monies. Nice. I like the um, monies. And then there's a second kind of crate here. If you come uh, turn around and walk back here, it's this with, with this black icon. Um, now, this is a material crate, which means they were transiting their materials as well. <laughs> Oh my god, they have a, a bunch of rubies. Oh, spicy. I know, let me take a look at these rubies. Oh, nice. Okay, I have 30 of their rubies. Nice. But now, obviously, this is too much for us to carry, right? That's one of the aspects of the, <clears throat> of the caravan system, is that it provides you large carrying capacity. What do we do when there's right. too much for us to carry on our backs? So, there's an item in your inventory... Um, that you can use to summon an empty caravan that you have stashed at a node. Um, if I recall correctly, you stashed one at N Winstead nearby. I do have one at Winstead. Let me summon that. So out in the wild right now, I am able to summon this caravan. And that's going to come from Winstead. Yep. Um, now, the way summoning works is the length of that summon is determined by where you're right if you were to summon from winstead which is pretty close to us the wait's not going to be super long but if you're summoning from you know very very far away it's going to be a rough wait okay <clears throat> all right so now i've begun summoning my empty caravan to come pick up these supplies that we've just acquired and obviously if you were in the previous raid you can go ahead and leave that raid um because right now the there's some still outstanding functionality required on the UI front, but it, it will be intended for that to be seamless in the future. Um, but now you guys are joining my raid to defend this. And once this caravan arrives, it's going to allow us essentially to grab these outstanding supplies. Is that right? Correct, yeah. And another um, additional reason why you may want to summon a caravan instead of having all your people here pick up this stuff is you're going to get more for bringing the crate unopened to a node right so that like material crate you got you said 30 rubies from it uh um, yes you're gonna get way more if we take that to the node without opening it in the field okay that's cool that's awesome and now <clears throat> you know we just happened upon obviously this caravan here that was carrying supplies 
But talk to me a little bit about the intended interaction of hunting caravans, right? What does that what does that mean? Can you progress in that? Can you identify these caravans from a distance? Is it intended to be diegetic or is it, you know, aided with minimap? Like talk to me a little bit about that, uh, Bucky and Chris. Yeah, so uh, hunting a caravan is tended to be a lot more diegetic, right? You plant spies in other guilds, you, um, you know, build your information network in the world of Vera, um, kind of uh, through through whatever means you can, right? Um, now there is progression paths involved with attacking and defending a caravan um, that can aid you in doing so, um, either with better equipment for it, um, faster ways to open crates, more yield from crates, and if you're a defender, right, better components for your caravans, stuff like that. Okay, very cool. Ah! The caravan has arrived! So now I, I should be able to... move up to these <coughs> crates and collect the cargo, I see. Yep, so you should have a, an ability to collect cargo. Oh my god, yeah, I have a whole bunch of cargo that I can select from. So I'm just going to grab each of these cases. Okay. I have a very large chassis. And I've collected, I've collected a number of them. Let me see if I can collect some more. There's a case of Everburn scented candles and some more scented candles. All right, I think we have grabbed pretty much everything that we didn't already loot. Now talk to me a little bit about the differences between looting here kind of at the spot and collecting the cargo with the caravan. I can take this one, yeah, yeah. so like, looting at the spot, obviously, uh, you can do right away, and the problem with that, though, is you, you forfeit a lot of the materials, a lot more get lost in, as you crack open those crates, but if you're able to have your own caravan, uh, and bring it there, you can loot, and you'll get more of the uh, more of the overall materials that way. But there will be progression for, you know, like you were saying about the Highwayman faction versus the Defender faction, and maybe there'll be some progression where you can uh, get better loot percentage out of the field. Very cool. Now, we talked a little bit ago about um, stolen goods, stolen supplies. What are the intent of that system? How does how do stolen goods and supplies work differently than commodities? So when you crack open a crate of commodities, you get um, you don't get the commodities themselves since they're like crated cargo items. You actually get stolen goods, and you can use those stolen uh, commodity certificates to go and turn them into the black market to uh, get some money back. Okay, nice. And, th and that's an upgrade path that's available at different marketplace buildings? Yeah, that's a specialization of the market. Normally you can sell them back to anything, but it's not going to be very much. Like, the normal vendors of Vera don't want those stolen goods, but if you, if you know the right people, you can get you can get your money's worth out of it. Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> now, obviously, we, we just had a large-scale, a re relatively large-scale combat between two of these raids. Um, Trad, talk to me a little bit about kind of, you know, how our approach towards Alpha 2 is going to incorporate additional development of this group-based combat in PvP and, and kind of where we are with it now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as you've seen in a lot of our previous uh, archetype live streams, there's been a lot of, you know, representation of single player combat, like you know, we usually go in there with one to like maximum of three people just because we want to really highlight like the abilities but here you're obviously seeing that much larger scale scenario and that's where we're um, going to continue moving forward thinking about like the group utility because that's that's what like adds a lot of uh class identity to your character right is like when your party invite me invites me or your raid invites me like what do i provide to the group um, and that's where we sort of sh shifted our focus on for this uh, next iteration of ability design. Okay. <clears throat> I see there's some dead brown bears up here. That's concerning. Oh, let's hit to left here. Okay. And so what we're going to do down here is we need an, an alternate path to reach Merilith because the, the path by road is a bit obstructed. Some of the bridges have not been have developed yet. So what are we about to do now? 
crypto, there's this nifty thing that I think you alluded to last time we talked about caravans, but we are gonna traverse the river instead of the land. All right. So what you're gonna do is roll up here and go ahead and walk your caravan as far into the water as it'll let you. All right. I see a beautiful carfin. All right, now you should have an ability on your caravan hotbar to transition to raft. Convert to raft. Ooh, okay. And I just deployed this. Yep, just deploy it. <clears throat> oh, that is awesome. So this process takes a few minutes. Um, you're going to have to basically wait and defend your caravan while um, you're transitioning to raft, but riding on the water has its benefits. I love this. Now, <clears throat> you can still target the dock, right? And, and part of this transition process is, again, the risk that you're introducing for the reward of having greater flexibility in movement through the land. Um, and that risk is basically you're a sitting duck here, for lack of a better term. Yeah, basically. Um, like I said, you can't you can't escape, and to you can undo this process, but the amount of time you've already sunk into it must be paid to undo it. I see. And now, as as this raft is getting constructed, I notice that it's it's essentially destructing the um, the caravan <clears throat> and using that to construct the raft yep correct and if you actually once it's done constructing you'll notice the the body of your caravan is sitting on the raft oh i love it oh okay that's cool that's some lewis and clark shit i mean stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh no um now as we're kind of a sitting duck we should probably put some uh maybe some scouts up near the top of that hill so we don't get jumped i don't know let me go it may not be a out. scout, but I can go take a look. I'm, I mean, I'm, I I can't imagine that they just left. Oh their... boy, we got oh, some people run, up here. Run. Oh no, they're back. They want their stuff back. Oh no, heal okay. me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chill with the uh, the raft as it kind of comes down while you guys fight them for a second. I think it's almost done. There we go. Ah, oh, I've Can gotten the raft. I'm I'm running. Oh god! Rangers to the ship! Quickly! Join me! We must depart this area! Alright, we'll catch back up. Everyone on board! Chris, Bucky, do what you can to hold them. Uh, it's just, it's just uh, some rabble, you know? These guys don't have anything on us. Easy. Mop them up. I, I expect you to make quick work of them. Um, Chris, are you with me or are you over there? I'm, I don't I'm, know where I'm, I'm going. Oh, oh I'm, I'm running down. I'll, I'll run to you. I'm abandoning the fight. Okay. We'll yeah, wait, we, we'll we've, we've taken them out. We're, we're, we're coming back now. Okay, very nice. We'll run along the shore. I like the... Uh, I love the raft. It's looking good. I know Adam worked pretty hard on the uh, new water shader. It looks beautiful. It's a nice yeah. day out. It definitely turned out real nice. And shout out to Hal for the raft. Yes. Oh, the raft looks so good. I'm assuming we're going left, yes? Uh, so we're going to keep going straight here. All right. Now, this can be very helpful, having the option, but it can also be kind of dangerous because... You don't know who might be laying in wait ahead of you along the shorelines. But it oh. also lets you, as we said, traverse the world in a little different way. And there's also a current here, correct? Yeah, so there's a current system that increases your speed if you go with the current and decreases it if you go against it. Uh, you're going to hitch a right here, Steven. And those currents are kind of different based on the location in the river, correct? Yeah, they are. They're different based on the location in the river and, like, the strength of the river, right? So, like, you know, where we kind of started there was more of a lake body. 
so the current's not super intense, but, you know, we could have a place that's, you know, near rapids, right? Got it. Where are we going here? This is looking concerning. Oh, Steven. Uh, Did I ever tell you of the sense of direction of a mongoose? Oh, God! Bag? Oh, my God! Shoot attackers on the, on the rock! Go the other way. <laughs> Take them out! Steven, you're gonna crash into a rock. Oh, God. Uh, you're gonna want to hit you right here, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to my map. <laughs> no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Oh, I'm trying to watch behind us. You're gonna beat us. <laughs> Is there someone on board? <laughs> oh, not no. Not anymore. That was a defender. Oh, heavy fire on Dread. All right, I think we made it out. We're safe now. Trad, how's it going on the battle side? Uh, I'm outnumbered. I'm running. Oh no! Meet us at the landing point. If you if you're if you are a bandit, get out of there and meet us at the landing point. Don't let them follow you though. Win the fight, then meet us. <laughs> yes, win the fight, then meet us, or die and meet us. <laughs> How about what we do that the other way around? <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. So, these are obviously some of the risks of traveling by raft. Let me turn down um, my sound effects just a little bit. There we go. Um, now, it's not all bad because we can land and turn us back into a land caravan again. And that's yep. coming up here, correct? It's coming up pretty shortly. Now, you can't turn into a land caravan anywhere, right? You still need, kind of like how you saw we showed up at a beach to turn into a raft. Uh, well, we need to do something similar. And if you notice around us, there aren't a huge amount of beaches. And that's super intentional to create, like, you know, locations players can rely on. Got it. Are we coming up on one up here, yeah? Oh, yep, we're coming allies. up on one on the right there. We're up here. Let me, see if the, let me see if the current kind of carries us forward a little bit. Oh, it does. I'm not moving. Our current moves. Love it's it. It's a very a light influence for this current. It's a very light current. All right, everybody secure the perimeter. I am converting into a land caravan again. It On has, it. It has begun. Securing perimeter. <clears throat> perimeter secured. So after we go back and forth with the um, with the caravan turning back into a land caravan, it's keeping all the components that it had before, obviously, right, Chris? Yeah. So um, all your components, all of the stuff in like that you've either looted or launched with, it sticks with you. Um, all that, all that good stuff. Oh, DA's not in the raid anymore. Reinvite him. Let's bring DA back. I'm sure that the <clears throat> the opposing side is going to try one last time to recover their goods. Oh, they will for sure. So we need to be conscientious of that as we kind of progress through these these this more rocky area. There's a lot of places. That yeah, this hide. is. It's also very narrow. Not a lot of places for us to run. Hmm. Love the view of Carfin here. So when we when we get to Mirleth, though, assuming that we successfully navigate past the evil merchants, um, what are we going to be doing then? We're going to be turning in this this cargo. Yeah. So we're you know you're going to be able to unpack those crates, which you currently don't know what's in them. Um, you know we do have a plan for a progression path for kind of caravans in general where you will be able to look into them, but um, you haven't done your grind, Steven. What? I haven't done my grind yet? Nope. And you're also going to go and turn in those black market or not the black market certificates, the stolen commodities at the black market to make some money. Got it. Now, guys, obviously, as you're watching this and you're seeing the kind of transition, Again, as a reminder, everything you're seeing is a work in progress, especially from an art perspective. 
um, UI, visual effects, uh, animation. Those are all still works in progress. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on this. Okay, here we go. I am We're ready. Back. Let's do this. Right. <laughs> I'm speed boosting. Um, it would be very nice if some tanks oh. were on the front line with this sad little mage. Get out of the way! Yeah, let's send some uh, some rangers ahead too in their camo. Get some scouting going. Nice. We must protect. Um, I'm in danger. I'm in danger. <laughs> I need an adult. Go, Trad. Dispense the heathens. Um, we should pull back oh, a little, maybe. People on the hill, cliff up on the right here. I got eyes. Austin's ahead. All right, stay out of my way. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm go straight damage. through this. Just send it, Steven. I'm going straight through. Everybody, get out of my way. <sighs> Run. Oh God. <laughs> some, some, some casualties of our own side. It's, it's worth it though. Tanks pull them down from the rock. Use your javelins. Oh. Running, you guys running. Got this? Yeah, we're kind of just walking right through them, honestly. Not even really scared at all. They don't have enough to contest us. We're yeah, too powerful. They fear. They fear the might of our bandit army. I remember this this way. Last time there were a bunch of zombies and skeletons here. Yeah. Yep. I think the world team has changed them to rock golem. Oh. Or the world state has changed, perhaps. Or maybe they did change to rock. That's golems. that's going to be a Jeremy question. Yeah. <laughs> and we've left we've left Vertec. Good sacrifice. Did we make it out? Um, Careful, we're still up. being chased. Hey, everybody up here, go back and kill those people. Don't let them near me. Back, fiends! I'm gonna use my last speed boost. My god, they're using dark magic. Oh, rock elemental. Oh, yeah, don't pull aggro. Definitely not. I'm, I'm almost... trailing, trailing behind you. Oh, I found the skeletons. Cycle yes, test. that's what I wanted you to do. They've overextended. The fools! <laughs> the fools! Heal, heal! I cannot heal. Oh. You. Where are you? Oh, I see, I see you. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're almost there. We're so close. You know, I'm really envious of you, Steven, being able to, like, sit and drive something while we all have to walk. I know. My legs hurt. Honestly, it's not a very comfortable ride. The suspension on this vehicle <laughs> and the rocks on the ground. Well, you know, the roads will upgrade when the node level's up and it'll get a little nicer. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. So as the, as the nodes advance, as we've said in the past, the roads advance as well. And that speed buff does get some benefit. Yep. And a road like this would eventually become stone, right? So the, the caravan won't be as bumpy. <laughs> we have almost arrived at Miraleth. Oh, I've lost the road buff. Now we're super slow. Uh, you're officially in Miraleth. I still see Lex behind us. Is Lex on the good side or the bad side? He's on know. our side. Oh, okay. We do have enemies coming up, though. Okay. So oh, we still there? haven't killed them? Yeah. Guards, kill get them. Kill the... Kill. If I had more heals, I'd be up there more. Somebody help them kill this <laughs> right, people. go, Trad. I'll stay Fuck with you until the here. end. We're going in. Don't, 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 don't wait up for us, guys. I don't even think they followed. Oh. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Well, they're waiting. one. Good, go, good, good. get him. He's running in. We've almost arrived. Who's that? <laughs> Solo hero. Oh. The river town of Miraleth. <laughs> Oof. Look at that beautiful view. It's a very nice little node. So now, <clears throat> I have some stolen commodities in the form of stolen goods. Yep. And then I also have cargo. 
Yep, and I believe I remember you saying you picked up a bunch of rubies, uh, candles, and a bunch of uh, and a couple of crates. Now the, the crates are a mystery, so I'll, I'll walk you through how to find out what goes in them. We did it! Yes, we've done it. Should I dismount? Uh, yeah, get off that thing. All right. Great work, everybody. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. You all be paid 10 copper for your services, and I'll get the rest. Now, where are we going to go so, <clears throat> to turn this first, stuff in? First thing we're going to do, come back this way, we're going to talk to the caravan master. Talk about okay. a change since last you guys saw the caravan system. Um, if you open that up and switch to the storage of the caravan you have here, you'll see the goods are still in there. Do you see the goods in there, Steve? Cargo storage. Yes, I do. So you're going to... Part of the change is that when you land a caravan, it doesn't automatically flood the node's uh, cargo with the stuff that was on your caravan. It stays on the caravan as additional cargo storage. Okay. Um, so what you're gonna do, if you notice, there's a couple of <laughs> crates. I think they're two by ones in yes, there. Yes, I see those. So you're gonna, Medium crates. You're gonna right click that. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's some basalt in these. So what you can do is unpack that crate, which is going to move the goods that were in there into your material inventory. But um, unpacking takes time, so they're going to be locked uh, for a period of time. Okay, so I won't see them in my... You will see them in your material inventory, but you won't be able to take them out. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and unpack it, you can tab over to the material inventory and check it out. Just show up there later, because it's not showing up there now. Uh, did you hit the unpack button? Oh, I did not. Oh, good call. Thank you. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Okay. All right. So they're locked right now. Oh, okay. Yep. So in five minutes, I can access them. Yep. Now that timer scales with how the node progresses. Um, that's actually a, an extremely fast unpacking time. Um, but typically, it's going to be on the scale of days. Okay, very cool. Um, and then if and you want to... What about these Everburn scented candles? Those are commodities. You're going to be able to sell that to the commodity man. Oh, do I put those where? In the storage? Uh, you, can just leave it. you can just leave them right there. I can show you. Come on oh, this okay. way. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And now, obviously, <clears throat> the unpacked, unpacked time, fees, everything associated with it, those are all options that you can choose to manipulate within a node. So you can make your node kind of the, you know, hub for trade or for landing caravans and whatnot, depending on the options that the cities choose. Exactly. So if you go ahead and talk to this vendor here. Okay. Uh, it should open up your storage as well. And if you go to cargo. Oops. All right. Go to cargo. And check out um, your cargo in Miraleth. Done. Um, you should be able to sell those commodities to this gentleman straight from your caravan inventory if you scroll down to the bottom of your cargo oh, inventory. Oh, there it is. Yes, very nice. Okay, cool. Hold on, let me fix that. Now, guys, remember, UI is a work in progress right now. This is very functional, not playable. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I see a bunch of these. I can sell them right now. Uh, what am I selling them for? Uh, you're selling them for gold. You stole I another did. man's uh, potential gold. I, I recovered them. They stole it from us to begin That's with. That's right. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're the good guys, that, Chris. Do I right-click those to sell yep, them? Yep, right-click them to sell them. Um, this is functionality we showed in the last live stream. It's just they're not, they weren't yours to begin with. Now I see when I right-click it, it, tell, it opens up the crate, and inside I see nothing. That could be a bug. That's a bug. That could be a bug. Guys, you're going to see some bugs. Um, That's the way so things go. Last thing I want to show you, though, Steven. Yes. Uh, I want you to, while you're talking to this vendor, in your inventory, your player okay. inventory, you yep. should have um, those stolen goods that you got from the crate that you opened oh, yes. up. So okay, if, you talk to this, if you talk to this gentleman and hover over it, it'll tell you how much they sell for to the commodity vendor. But don't sell them. Right. Yeah, we okay. know a guy, Steven. Now I'm talking to this vendor, and do I just hover over them in my uh, backpack? Uh, yep. Sell price, it says, is zero. Uh, so this man is not going to give you a lot of money for that. But How dare this we've, man? We've got a guy. Come follow me. Yeah, we got a guy. Oh, he doesn't He doesn't trade in stolen goods. Yeah, he's, he's a reputable vendor, but... <laughs> okay, all right. 
We're looking for somebody over so, here. So this is the new upgraded marketplace here in Miraleth. Um, mm -hmm. Now, as we kind of briefly mentioned, there are upgrade paths to the marketplace. Now, this one's been expanded. So if you follow me into this little back alley and into okay. this little outhouse. Oh. <laughs> oh we okay. found the black market. My goodness. Ophelia Blackwater. Now, this was because this is an expansion that Miraleth has in their market. Correct. Yeah. So uh, marketplaces don't normally come with a black market, and it's a part of the expansion tree. So it's a choice you can make on your marketplace to be a, where bandits take their stuff. So I'm going to right click on the stolen commodities. Yep. Oh, OK. It just gave me some gold. Very nice. I've sold it. And now you have to pay us all, so everyone line up to get traded. All right, yep. Where's my cut? Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody line up. All right, a little bit line up there, a little bit. All right, I'm, well I, done. And then just wait line. here. I'll be right back. Oh, no, no, wait. Let me Hey, uh, block the door. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. You guys stay there. Uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have just uh, seen some PvP. We've seen some white water rafting. We've seen some caravan um events and we've had a great time a uh, little bit of some bugs obviously this is still our road to alpha 2 so that's to be expected uh, but i do want to thank um, obviously our developers for joining us and explaining everything our testers for helping participate so that we're able to kind of show off all of these systems um, and as a reminder of course i know i can't say this enough as we continue to progress towards alpha 2 you will continue to see polish be done, bugs get fixed, stability improve, performance improve. Right now we are on that road. Um, we have just come off of heavy development of our feature uh, and core systems, our features and core systems. Um, and now we're gonna be refining that. We're gonna be tightening that loop and we're going to be um, fixing things up so that we can get a lot of people in game and start testing these, uh, these systems. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it um, and there's a lot of stuff still yet to show. But with that being said, thank you all for joining me and thank you for watching. We'll see you back on stream. Bye.